What up, YouTube? For the old man. Drunk. That's right. Welcome back. Old Man Games channel. I'm your host, Old Man Games. This is 2K NHL 2K8. We are the Phoenix Coyotes, Arizona Coyotes, just the Coyotes. Making our way through the season. The way this series works for all the newbies, we play 10 games through the regular season by play. That means computer versus computer. One game a month from October through February. When we get to March, we play three games. In April, we play two. That's a total of 10. If we make the playoffs, we play every game from that point, all right? Last season, we missed the playoffs. This season so far, heading into January, the squad is right there in seventh place in the Western Conference. We keep sliding down that list, boy, sliding down every month. We're trying to hold on, doing all we can to hold on for dear life. The team right now, heading into the month of January, sits at 19, 14, and two. The last 10 games, we sort of slid back. We're at four and six in the last 10, which is why we're, we slid down to seventh in the West. So let's get through this month of January and see how it goes. Oh, another thing I wanna do real quick. Let's just take a look at the season stats so far. See how the team has been doing, who's leading what. Points leader, Eric Stahl, 44 points. I think this is a contract year for him. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. So we're gonna try to re-sign him if we can. I haven't received any messages yet stating that he's willing to re-sign, but as soon as we get that, we will definitely look to lock him down. We already locked his younger brother down earlier. Seaman, we re-signed him last season, last off season. He's doing well so far. He's in second place with 33 total points. Ahead of the younger brother, Stahl, who has 32. E-Rat is up there with 30. Higgins with 22. I feel like this team is much more potent offensively than where we were in the previous year, by far. I mean, the record speaks for itself, right? Like, you can see there, I feel like this team is much better. Here are our, our hits so far. Brewer leads the way with 89. Jackman, last year's leader in hits, he's at 85. McKee, 72. Gouchier, 57. And then Seaman leads the wingers. Here are our game winning goals. I feel like we already have more of these than last season, if I'm not mistaken. I have to go back and check. Only one shorthand goal. Only three overtime goals. Here's the minutes information. Average time on ice. Stahl is maintaining over 20 minutes, which is good. For our best player. And then we don't have any game deciding goals. Let's take a look at our goalies. Suarez is actually in a contract year. I just received uh, a phone message stating that he'd be willing to sign an extension. However, I'm hesitant on that. We just drafted a really good rookie that we have uh, allocated to our minor league system. I'm giving him a year of minors, and then I may pull him up next season. And if I do that, we might not need Schwartz because Turco is still under contract for two more so he's under contract this year and next year i think it would be kind of good even though they haven't mentioned anything about a mentor system i think it would be good for the rookie that we have trapanye the rookie goalie to to play with turco for a year to sort of get that so i think merrick shorts may be a lame duck here actually but so far the two goalies turco in 19 games he's 11 7 and 1 with three shutouts He's having a much better season than 
from last season at this point. Swartz, through 16 games for him, he's 8, 7, and 1 with two shutouts. He's having a decent campaign. Can't complain. Here are their average goal against 2.61 to 2.8. Here's the save percentage. And then just some other stats there, but. All right, those are our stats. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this game. We are at San Jose, I was about to call them San Jose State. We are at San Jose Sharks, the number 12 team in the West, 16, 18, and three. However, in their last 10 games, they're seven, two, and one. So they're on the rise while we seem to, we appear to be sliding back. So this should be a good game. A critical, pivotal game too. This is a division, a division foe. So let's get into it. Our overall, look at our overall rating, y'all. Is that 87? We balling right. I mean, rating, ratings wise, hell, we have a pretty good team. They're 75. Look at their offense compared to ours. Their defense compared to ours. Their goalie is better, but and then. Nah, man, we should win this game for sure. Let's see how it goes. You never know. Also, too, for those of you who missed it on the last episode, we had thanks for joining us at the HP Pavilion. Disable the music known from as the, the Shark Tank. stadium as the due to copyright issues on the with YouTube. Of the San Jose Sharks. The 2K but Sports so far, Network it doesn't seem to take away it. from There's the experience. Going on in the desert it's been good. Arizona. As the Phoenix Coyotes right, are making some waves. This and now, your San Jose. The Coyotes are a team that's noted for their offense, primarily because they've got stars who know how to bury that puck in the back of the net. Bob, this is a good offensive team, not because they've got Era can fly up and down the ice. You don't have to worry giving him space. on their way to the circle, ready to start the opening period here tonight. And now, San Jose at center ice. Let it save. Schwartz, he covers it up. Now, this save we're about to see is simply good technique. Have a look at it. The keeper is set and ready on this one, Harry. He knows where the puck is. He knows where the players are on the ice. And he uses his stick well to defend against the shot. Yeah, he's locked right in. This is a solid play on the part of the goaltender to the. And here's a left. Up the left side. And the Coyotes coming in. Eric Salmon handles it. And he gets called for the outside. Gordon Stahl settling in for the faceoff. San Jose wins the draw in their own zone in the neutral zone. In down low. It's shot. He gets it. Schwartz freezes the puck. Schwartz races for the faceoff near his goal. Jackman's got it back to the point. Higgins breaks it up with the poke check. Now Tucker with it. Here's Tucker. Dolce takes the check. Save is made. Schwartz. They blow the whistle. And here's Alexander Saman. Phoenix moving up. He gets it. Loco covers up. Stall with some stats on screen. Career goals for him. He's coming up on a nice milestone for him. That's a nice milestone for anybody at this stage in an NHL career. San Jose looking for their first goal. The pass missed. Passion written all over this hit. Did he ever nail him with that shoulder? In the corner, Johnson's got it. In the corner, Bodichuk. Slap shot. That puck is free game. Coyotes can't hang on to it. And the Coyotes take it away. Now Johnson. Here's Holdachuk. Schwartz. And he covers up. 
Schwartz protects the right side of his goal as the skaters will face off. Now Zajac with it. And here's Jackman. Brewer now. No lock on that pass. And Mike Kalasarek with it. Sharks lost it. Centered. Taken away by Phoenix. Stolen by Phoenix. Suglobov sends it flying around the boards. It's shot. The shot's blocked. Another save the goalie did not have to make. And here come the Coyotes. Turnover, Phoenix. Tomasarek, an aggressive player. Now the Coyotes get it back. Now Konstantin Kolsev. Phoenix back into the zone. And the Sharks pick it up. And here's Smith. Tomasarek now at center ice. San Jose dumps it in. He gets it. Now McKee. And here's Stewart. Phoenix looking for their first goal. Stewart. Here's Jeff Halpern. Here's his alias. He rips it. It's blocked. The puck has hit up the left side. Here's Zajac. Phoenix dumps it in. Here's Jackman. Now Halpern. And Ouellette now. And the Sharks are going to try it again. In front, and the Coyotes pick it up. That was a good move. Stall handles it. Here we go with Phoenix now. Same in. And the slot. This is a key moment right here. Remember, the game is still tied. Right now, they do have the edge and shots on goal, but it's still anybody's game. It's a 0-0 tie, and they need to maintain that offensive pressure if they want to pull away. To the point. Higgins. Now she's tall. The puck is stopped. Roka, he decides to hold on to the puck. Stall put the net this season for a total of 13. But Roka will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. Here's Dandino. He's intercepted. Higgins. The shot's blocked. And oh, he had to buy to do it. And he did it. Dandino. Schwartz stops it. A great glove stop. Schwartz hangs on. Bobby Holik settling in for the draw. And Jackman now. And Eric Brewer with it. Here's Greer. Dandino picks up the loose puck at center ice. The center of pass. Here's Tucker to the point. Slap shot. Oh, what a save. He was able to stop a very tough shot there. It was tipped off a player in front. Boy, the glove got there just in time. He deflected the puck with terrific use of that glove hand. That's one way to use the glove. If you can't snare the puck inside the glove, you can always use that piece of leather as a way to knock the puck out. As long as you don't leave a juicy rebound. And a Sarek, he's a very tough player. Sharks, here we go. It's blocked, short of the goal. To the middle, Johnson. Gauthier. Taken away by San Jose. Johnson handles it. And the Sharks across the line again. He shoots. His shot barely misses the right goal pole. Now Seaman. And Erat now. Always dangerous. Here's Erat. Now Stahl. Stahl gets hit. Roca and the goalie covers up to stop the play. Roca, and as such a tremendous goalie he was last year, he won the Vezina Trophy. That came as no surprise to hockey fans anywhere. Here's Orpik. He shoots. Incredible diving block. They get off the He scores. And with that, they jump out ahead of the road. He gets the rebound, Bob. Quick reaction, and he turned it into a goal. He just jumps on the puck and fires back at the goalie. It happened so quick. The Coyotes have the one-goal lead now. First period of hockey. Lots of time to decide this one. Up the left side. And now San Jose with it across the blue line. Green. Now she's tough. In the neutral zone. It's loose. Out front. The center. 
Here's Stanislav Chistov. Here's Chris Higgins. Fires. It stopped. The shot deflects off the goal. There it is. San Jose on the move. Open, open. Barrett Jackman with a steal. Brewer now. Chistov handles it. Phoenix moving up. Can't get it on net. Ride to the right. Off the player and up off the glass. And here's Jackman. Brewer now. And now San Jose in their own zone. Roca hangs on to the puck. The linesman will start the action to the goalie's left. Phoenix picks it up. Greer's got it. Backhanded. The puck tipped away. And that shot hits up off the glass. Can't get a shot on goal. Too far to the right. He misses the pass. Wish shot. And another save. Roper then stops as he covers the puck. Rizzi two-way center Mike Fisher is one of the most underrated players in the NHL. He goes unnoticed because of his role as a checker, but his effort is very noticeable. The sulky nominee never takes the shift off. Huselius, just a minute 57 now. Here's Huselius to the point. Here's Jeff Halpern. Pass from the corner. Fisher grabs it. Here on. Greer's got it, picked off, and here come the Sharks. Green takes a puck through the zone. Under a minute to go, they're on. Here's Greer, and Fisher now. The puck set back behind the net. His shot sails just past the right side of the net. Roca covers up after the shot. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here for this faceoff. 17 seconds left. Polanos wins the faceoff, controlled at center. The buzzer sounds, and that's the end of the period. And the score is one to nothing. And now, presented by Dodge, we have our intermission report. Dodge, grab white. The Coyotes were tied up during the first period for a bit, and now will come out to start the second with a one-goal advantage. Harry, what do you see out there in the ice tonight? They've been really focused out there on defense tonight, Bob. And I think that's a big one. It's the second period, and we're just about ready to get this one going. Here's his alias. Here's Charon. Now Halpern. The puck up center ice. Now the shallow left. To the point. And Zidano Charo with it. And Phoenix over the line. And here come the Coyotes. Same the goes as the puck goes out of play. Bob the puck's over the glass again. In a few seconds, he will face it off and get going with the game. Down to his knees, blocks the shot. Gets up and keeps moving. That's a game. Yeah, Harry, plays like that can be an inspiration to the rest of the team. And don't be surprised if we see a little change in momentum. Now San Jose has got it. And the Sharks trying to get on the board. Back to the point. Jackman's got it. Now Tucker with it. He's in the slot. Schwartz makes that beautiful save to preserve his one goal lead. The Coyotes have a total of six attempts at goal tonight. Schwartz in net. The face off to his right. And Green. The Coyotes are on top. The whistle blows for offside. It's one thing to be a positional goaltender. But that position changes, and that is why this guy's one of the best. You have to be able to move in there, go from one side to the other, stop on a dime. And the faceoff is won by Phoenix. Now we're picked with it, and here's Fisher. Johnson picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him off. With it. He shoots. He comes away with a save. Right here, right here. And the Coyotes are going to try it again. It's sent up the left side. To the point. And the Coyotes are bringing it up. Here's our pick. Right here, right here, right here, right here. The slap shot. Loka makes a huge dub save on that blustering slap shot. He was firing from long range. But man, that does 
not discount the save that stopped this slap shot. No, it does not. He makes the save look easy. But when a puck is flying from that far away, it's hard to get a beat. Jeff Halpern at the faceoff circle. Era pins him up against the boards. Thomas Eric now. Here's his alias. Nobody there. And Eric Brewer with it. Samen. Brewer now. San Jose is able to grab it. Shoots wide right. Now Phoenix got it. Now stall. Samen handles it. Phoenix moving up. Samen. Saves it with a stick. Halpern handles it. Oh, and there they go. The Sharks on the attack. And Jay McKee comes up with it. Samen handles it. Phoenix trying to get set up once more. Misses to the right side. He nearly hit the post. Here's Jay McKee. He feeds it up the left side. And San Jose with the line. To the point. Let. Willette gets pinned against the board. Salmon takes the check. Stolen by Eric Stahl. Goche. McKee handles it. Passed up center. Coyotes coming in. Taken away by San Jose. It's loose. And Eric Brewer with it. The pass went nowhere. And here's Ewan. He's a good stick handle. Past the blue line. Now Martin Erat. The pass is missed. In the defensive zone now, the Coyotes are ahead at the end of the first period and had the one goal advantage. Harry, what's keeping this team going here tonight? They've been really focused out there on defense tonight, Bob. And, I and he stops the shot by Tucker. The Coyotes are on top. Phoenix going in. Now Higgins could not get it on goal. Wide to the right. Chara now. The puck's loose. And now the Coyotes. Here's Stanislav Tistov. And it's taken away by Holy. Here's Stoll. It's tipped up in it, but he makes the save. San Jose looking to tie it. Line change. Travis Zajac comes on. And San Jose turns it over. Now it looks like some conflict on the ice. Landed one right there. Tucker, I think Harry landed a little bit back from the contact he's received tonight. What do you think? Bob, no doubt about that. He's been roughed up on the ice a lot more than he thinks was necessary tonight. When you get that kind of attention paid to you, usually you decide to give it back. And that's what we have now. Cochier rolls him with an uppercut. Tucker bats away that time. Tucker thought he could make a difference in this game by becoming involved in the fisticuffs. But to do that, you got to win. Well, Bob. And we're going to start up action again. San Jose picks it up. Stall handles it. Center ice. And now San Jose in their own zone. Oh, what a chance for San Jose now. Now San Jose into the zone. The shot. Count that one as a good save as it ricochets away off the goalie. A great shot in this replay, Bob, but somehow the goalie manages to get in the way of it. He came from nowhere, Harry, sticking his frame right in the middle of the shot. There, and they'll face off on the right side of the goalkeeper. Here's Dandino. To the point. Shot. Smith with a great defensive play to poke the puck away. Brewer. Jordan Stoll. He's got one goal tonight. He centers it. Look out. Look out. Look out. Stops the shot. He took the shot to the pads. And my, oh, my. Talk about good positioning and being lucky, too, at the same time. It's shot back. His shot almost hits the left goal post. It's blocked. Stoll. Here we go. Now Cheese to He scores. That's number two for him tonight. He's got the shooting touch, folks. One more, and it's a... Bob, 
Bobby was right there in front of the goal. And you've only got a second when you're there to get that shot away. And only a second he needed, Harry. Great positioning to pick out a spot. Although, with one-timers, there isn't a lot of picking out to do. Nope, you really just have to fire. I've heard a lot of... The Coyotes, with that last goal, they now go up by two. And here in the second period, they're building a mountain for the opponents to try and climb. Now Mike Johnson along the boards. Seaman steals that puck on the centering pass. Take him out of the play. That's the goal on an open ice hit. We haven't seen this guy do it very often before, Bob, but he did it. Goal. He gets checked good on that one. At center ice. Oh, and here come the Sharks. Centered in the slot. He makes the save. Here's Mike Johnson. Chara and Darcy Wodachuk with it. Schwartz, he covers the puck, and we'll have a faceoff. Mike Fisher settling in for this faceoff. And Mike Kalasarek with it. Here's Dustin Penner. And the Coyotes take it away. Over to Biron. A fire. McKee. Now Greer with it. Now Phoenix. In front. It's loose. Now McKee. Here's Greer. And Fisher now. Phoenix back into the zone. Fisher. Misses right. He nearly hit the post. Now Holik with it. Schwartz, good save, and he made it look easy. We're left with a minute 59. Biron has the puck through the zone. Down under two minutes now. Around back. He centers it. Rear gets checked. We're going to see a roughing penalty here. Let's take another look at that penalty, Holy. No doubt he earned the penalty. The ref saw it the whole way. And they'll be down a man for two minutes while he thinks about it in the penalty. We are left with a minute 23. And the Phoenix gets possession. He ran in the corner. Back to the point. Stall. Jackman blocks it. Oh, and a terrific play. And now the Sharks clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. And the Coyotes pick it up. Now Martin Ewak. At center. He gets hit check. And Eric Brewer with it. And here's Jack. It hits his own man. The buzzer sounds, signaling the end of the second period. We've got a score, two. And now time for our second intermission report. Brought to you by Dodge. The Coyotes coming out to start the third period, showing confidence with us two-goal lead. Statistically, Harry, what can you say about how a team as a whole is performing tonight? They have not been winning. Here we go, the third and final period. And it's center ice, picked up by San Jose. Here's he right. Luka decides to hang on to it. The Sharks want to win this faceoff and burn the clock on the penalty. Four skaters on the ice for them still. And here's Ulick. Seaman holds him along the board. Vesalius. Vesalius. Jackman went down on his knees and stopped the shot. This guy's got some kind of nerve. He drops to his knees and blocks the shot. Back to the point. And he shoots. And here's a left. Penalty over, and they're at full strength again. And the Sharks trying to get on the board. And who left now? His shot barely misses the white ball post. Salmon handles it. It's a two-goal lead for Phoenix. Alpern, center ice. And Mike Kalasarek with it. Now Martin Erat. Now Seaman. Phoenix dumps it in. Kalasarek now. Here's Jeff Halpern at center ice. He centers it. And the Coyotes pick it up. Now McKee. Now Higgins. Here's Stoll. The puck goes into the corner. Chistok takes the hit. Now Jackman with it. And here's a left. Vesalius. And the Sharks dump it in. And now the Coyotes. The puck is hit up the left side. Now Phoenix into the zone. Chistok takes the hit. Holy. Here come the Sharks with a chance. Holy. And the attempt by Holy. Rejected. Schwartz. He covers the puck. 
It's all about positioning, Foley, on this one. Let's take a look at it. Positioning, great anticipation. He didn't budge. Focus and proper use of the blocker was the re They're getting ready for the face-off to the left side of the goalie. To the middle. It's blocked. Great defense to protect on the shot. And a save is made. Schwartz covers up and freezes the puck. Schwartz in net, ready to protect that right side of the net on the faceoff. Here's over to Chuck. No luck on that pass. The pass missed. Colano's turnover, Phoenix. Danano's got it. The Coyotes steal it. The pass into open ice. And the Coyotes touching up. Icing. Roca in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. Greer gets the faceoff. The faceoff won by San Jose in their zone. Johnson handles it. The Sharks turn it over. San Jose back into the zone. And Darcy Hodachuk with it. It's blocked. What a terrific play. And the Coyotes pick it up. The Sharks steal it. And here's Kolsov. From Kolsov to Stewart. Phoenix forcing the play. Stewart getting held up along the boards. Now San Jose's got it. Over to Galatas. Here's Mike Johnson. Dumped in by San Jose. He gets it. Goche. He's been to the box once tonight. Here's Phoenix, and they're skating well. They stop the shot. Look at what that glove save. The penalty goes to Bobby Holik. It looks like it's going to be a roughing call. Let's have a look at the replay, Bob. Good call by the ref. You can clearly see it was a penalty. And he's going to the box. Seaman. Here's Eric Stahl. Here's Brewer. Brewer. He scores! It's a goal! The goalie heard that sound off the pipe. The puck running off by the... This goal was a thing of beauty, Bob. I thought it was going wide, but it just went ping off the left post and in. That's an unmistakable sound, and the goalie's head will probably be ringing for a while. You could hear it all over the rink. You could be out at the concession stand looking for a hot dog and know just what happened. the puck in the neutral zone. And Fisher now. Will San Jose be able to come back? I think Harry may be too late. I doubt they can make it three goals here, but I'd love for them to prove me wrong. That would be a heck of a finish, wouldn't it? To the point. Sugnabob in control of the puck. Smith, centering pass. It's stopped. The shot deflects off the goalie. It's stopped by Schwartz. This team has dominated in the goal department. It's not just a one-sided effort. They've scored on many of their good scoring chances and made some goals look easy and are in command of this hockey game right now. Unless they totally... The linesman is ready to set the puck down. As time winds down for San Jose, this three-goal deficit looms mighty long. The linesman blows the whistle for offside. And Stahl gets set to take the draw. The face-off won by San Jose in their zone. And now, Phoenix at center ice. Iran is checked. Now Seaman. And the Coyotes across the blue line again. Centered. The puck deflected high and bounced off the glass. Chara now. Now Huselius with it. Now San Jose. He misses the pass. Commissaric now. And Ulet now. Here's Huselius. Here's Chara. The goal stick to the rescue. Knocks that away. team has dictated the flow of this game. Phoenix with a strong showing. Coyotes played well in this one. Jackman and Erat now. Phoenix needs to get back on side. 
Now Barrett Jackman. Samen. Brewer now. And now here's the Bobby Holik line. Now Martin Ewak. And Jackman now. To the point. Stall. Tucker's got it. San Jose looking for their first goal. And Phoenix turns it over. Now Tucker with it. Jordan Stahl back out on the ice. In the corner, Penner's got it. Stripped out by Barrett Jackman. And the Coyotes coming in. He's called. Beautiful defense. He blocked the shot. When you drop to your knees, you can get hit anywhere. Down by three. I'm not too sure he had a choice in the matter. And icing is called as Phoenix touches up. On this replay, you can see how perfectly he cuts the shot off with a stick. He's right where he has to be. Some of that is positioning, some is luck. Being in the right place, at the right time, in range to reach out and knock it away. Well, Bob, however he got there, he skillfully broke up the shot attempt and basically told the goalie, I've got you backed up. Goalies love to hear that. Schwartz ready for the faceoff to his right. Spiller gains control of the loose puck. In the attacking zone. Johnson's shot saved. They shoot again. Shot wide to the right on that one. Spiller out at the point. He scores! But it's most likely too little too late. They need two more really fast to... The puck comes off the blocker awkwardly and finds its way into the net for the goal. The intention was there, Harry, but the luck just wasn't on the goalie's side as the goalie attempts to deflect it with his blocker. There's not much you can do about this, but shut it off and continue with the game. This stuff happens to all. The Sharks look like they're pulling the goalie for the extra attacker behind the net. Okay, holding him now along the boards, and the Coyotes take it away. Now Phoenix, the shot fires wide of that left post. And that hit the post. It's loose. And the Coyotes touch up. I see it is the goal. Lippert can't side the left side of the goal. And San Jose has the puck. That'll do it. The game has ended. And the score, 3 to 1. And now, brought to you by Dodge, it's our post-game report. Dodge, grab life. The Coyotes came out on top tonight. Great win with a two-goal margin. I know we talked earlier about how these guys were playing. Now that the game is over, Harry, anything you want to recap on the win? Well, I think, Bob, in this case, it really came down to who wanted to win the most. Number 21, Chris Higgins. The second star of the game, Harry Hulu. And the first star of the game, Jordan, Jordan Stahl. And that's going to do it for this NHL game. For Harry Neal and all of our crew, I'm Bob Cole. Thank you for being with us, everybody. We hope you'll join us next time for the NHL on the 2K Sports Network. Awesome victory. Great win. We will take it.
great game, great victory for the squad. We get our 20th win. We beat a division opponent in the process. We're gonna play them again in the next game there on January 3rd at home. So I'm gonna go through now, simulate through the remainder of January. I'll be back momentarily and update you with the results. Hang, on, hang tight. Okay, what up guys? We're back real quick. We are not quite done with the month of January. We are here on at January 28th, which is the All-Star break. There's two games remaining in the month of January. As you can see so far, I'll go ahead and show where we are. I just won't go too deep into details. We are 25, 20, and three so far. Last 10 games, three, six, and one, not good. Being that today is the day of the All-Star game, basically uh, what I wanna do so last season, we didn't get a chance to see who was in the All-Star game. I'm still learning this game, to be quite honest. And I thought that I would have a chance to look at the box score of the All-Star game afterward. But it, it, there didn't appear to be a way to do that. So, And there doesn't appear to be any other place. I've looked everywhere. If anyone knows, please drop a comment down below to let me know what other way there is to check who made the all-star team I, I don't know why they made this game this way um so for me the only way i've, I've figured out how to view the all-star rosters is to actually go into the game so that's what we'll do right now we'll just go in real quick i have no intentions of playing this game i'm only going here just to check who made the team Welcome to New Jersey, where the skates are raced and the puck is about to drop here inside the Prudential Center. All right, so well, we, it's that break time again in the regular schedule, the stats, and it's time for the NHL All-Star Game. The best in the league are ready to go tonight, and with me is Harry Neal. I am Bob Cole, and we're set to go. Come on, wrap it up. So, so look, um, the players here are the players that made the, the All-Star team, basically. I don't know what teams they're from. I just, I'm just basically looking for my guys. So Eric Stahl made the team as he should have. That may be the only one, actually. Yep. So Eric Stahl, let's see, goalie white, yeah. So Eric Stahl is our only player to make the team, which is totally fine. I'll just show you guys for documentation purposes, the players who made the Eastern squad. Just so we can see these guys. All right, and then the Eastern goalies. So, so that's it. That's all I want to show. I'm gonna hop out this game now, resume resume the simulation, and I'll be back momentarily with the final update. All right, guys, we are back. We have concluded the month of January. The team now stands at 27, 20, and three. Last 10 games are five, four, and one. Let's quickly run through the results of the month. So the month of January, let's see, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wins. Three, Six losses and one overtime loss. So we went eight, six, and one in the month of January. Here's the game that we presented in this episode. A three to one victory over San Jose. Jordan Stahl had two goals. Brewer with a goal and Higgins with two assists in that game. We followed that up with a home game victory over the same team, two to nothing. Seaman had a goal. Schwartz started second game in a row and had a shutout. And then Zajac scored a goal as well. Next game at Washington. He had a 4-3 victory. Seaman gets a goal. Stahl, Jordan Stahl, the baby brother, two goals and a, one assist. So that was good. And then the next two games were losses. The first loss at Carolina, we lost three to two. The only star we had listed was C. Higgins. Next game after that was at Atlanta. We got blown out six to one. No stars, obviously, in that one. 
Then we had an overtime loss at Chicago. We lost that one by a goal, five to four. Chistoff made the, he had a hat trick, three goals in that game, great job for him. After that, we follow it up with a win at Dallas, four to three, one goal victory. Eric Stahl, our all-star, is the star of the game with a goal and an assist. Followed that up with a loss against Detroit at home, two to one. We had Seaman on the list with a goal. Got a win, another victory against San Jose. We own San Jose this month. A three to two victory over them. Green ends up as a star with a goal. Jackman scores a goal. And those are our two stars. Follow that up with a loss. So like we're alternating wins and losses at this point. This is against St. Louis. Lost by a goal, three to two. Chistoff made the list with a goal. Then we lost against Colorado on the road, two to nothing. So we got shut out there, no stars. Follow that up with another loss at San Jose. So they finally beat us this month. A two to one loss there. Gouchier ends up on the list with a goal scored. He also won a fight in that first San Jose game. I wish that I wish that was a stat they kept. Fight, fight, record. That would be pretty dope. Okay, then we have a victory at LA, three to two, where both Star brothers end up on the list. The older brother with two goals and the baby bro with a goal. So that was a good game there. Followed that up with a win, a huge win at Colorado. This was shortly after the All-Star game. So we had an eight to two victory over Colorado on the road, which makes it even sweeter. Chistoff gets another hat trick this month. Three goals, one assist. You can say that was a phenomenal signing. Or pick another defenseman gets on, not another, but a defenseman gets on the board with two goals. That's good for him. Looks like he's having a great season. He had a good season last year. And then Higgins, look at Higgins, man. Higgins is like, he might be our best passer. He has a goal and four assists in this game. So we'll definitely take that. And then the last game of the month is at home against Pittsburgh. We win that by a goal, four to three. Looks like that went into over overtime and we won it in a shutout. Yep, it sure did. So let's see, uh, Stahl is on the list with two goals and then Seaman is on there with two assists. So, so that's what it is, y'all. That's the month of January. And that pretty much wraps up episode number five. And we'll be back next episode to go into the month of January. Um, we're looking okay. We, before we sign off, let's just see where we are in the standings. Boom. Looks like we made a little bit of headway here. Hopefully to solidify our playoff chances. We are now in sixth place in the Western Conference. So that makes us playoff eligible, but we still got, what, February, March. We got two, like, a little over two months remaining in, in, the, in the season. So we'll, we're gonna do everything we can to hold on to this. And we have a 10 goal differential here. So goals that we scored against goals scored upon us. That's pretty good. All right, so that's what it is. You know who it is. For the old man. Yeah. Until the next time, y'all. Peace.